be doing today is we're going to be simulating a slicer across variables. So ha who in the room has worked with variables before in DAX? A couple folks. So variables are a fantastic way, if you're ready to get complex DAX expression, to break it down into smaller, more manageable chunks so you can understand what's going on. The problem is when you work with variables, sometimes you want to simulate something like, for instance, a filter, but you want to simulate it for every single variable, and it's kind of a pain because you have to do it one by one. I'm going to show you a trick to get around it. It's actually not a very impressive trick, but you probably haven't thought of it yet. <laughs> okay? So uh, let's look at this right here. So let's say we've got a situation like this, right? We've got a fairly simple data model, and we have a table that's got a product category, we've got beverages, and we've got food, and we've got a measure called max product line sales. And what that is, is it says, hey, let's go look at every single product line, get the sales for that product line, and bring back the biggest one, okay? And it's gonna use this bit of code right there. In fact, I'm gonna use the mouse for anybody watching at home, right? So it uses max product line sales, and what it does is it does a max x, of the values of the product line, it gets the total sales and brings back the result. So any iterator, regardless of what it is, always does three things. It gets a table, it adds an expression column, and then it does something with the result, okay? So in this particular instance, the table that it gets is this values of dim products line. So here for this cell, all the visible values for the line are coffee, latte, and mocha because we're in beverages, right? If we come down here for this cell right here, all the visible lines consist of muffins, scone, and bagels, okay? So MaxX gets that table, right, this one and this one, and adds an expression column to it. An expression column is whatever we want it to be. It's some expression that brings back a value of sorts. So in this particular instance, that expression is just total sales. So for every single product line, go get the total sales for there, there, and there. Then when you're all done, get the max, get the biggest one. Why max? because the name of the function is max x. If I wanted the smallest one, I'd do min x. If I wanted the average, I would do average x. If I wanted the median, I would do median x, okay? Does that conceptually make sense for folks? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say that I wanted to prove this to myself a little bit, right? I wanted to sort of simulate how we got this number right here. What I'm gonna do, if I can remember how to do this, I'm gonna pop over here to my data viewer, and I'm gonna come over here to where it says model and new table. What this new table thing is going to let me do is actually going to use a DAX expression to create a table and push it into my model. Now normally what you would do with this is uh, create something like a calendar table or something like that. But here I'm going to simulate creating that value that you saw just a second ago. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so let's start with the simple version where I don't simulate the filter. You have to rush too fast. Uh, that's sort of my style. I can feel it. <laughs> that's sort of my style. Why okay. Brian talk fast? No. <laughs> Product line sales V2. Man. You can have the sir. Man. man. It's going to be the man yep. product line, the sir. Oh, ma'am. Yeah, there you go. Max, I don't know. There's no ma'am, Max. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's start by going and getting just a list of all of my product lines, okay? So I'm going to do a creative uh, uh, variable, and I'm going to call this VR product lines. What's that? Product line Silesi. Product line Silesi. Oh, man. I am really tired tonight. Product line sales. There we go. And what's it going to be? It's going to be just the values of damn product and line. Okay? So uh, let's start by just sort of looking and see what that does. I'm going to do shift enter, return, and I'm just going to go ahead and get that right there. So sure enough, I get all the product lines, okay? So now what I want to do is add my expression column to it just to see what that looks like. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to add a new variable called VR with expression. And I'm going to do an add columns. I'm going to say, go get my product lines table and add a column to it. And I want to call that new column expression because I can't. Okay, so that's what it's going to be. And so what is the expression for this new thing? I mean, I could do uh, 10 or 20 or 3 plus 4. I'm going to do total sales. So maybe I can hit tab and not caps lock. Okay. So now I come down here to my return and I say, don't get the product lines anymore. Go get step two, the width expressions. And sure enough, there's my expression. Okay. So for every single product line, I've got the total sales. What I want to get is the biggest one. Okay. So now, I'm going to come down here, I'm going to create a new variable, VR, and I'm going to call this uh, result, I guess, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a sum x, a sum x of my VR with expression, so the table that we're looking at right there, go over that table and go get the biggest value. What's the biggest value? 
check by expression. So we get the single big biggest expression. Now when I do that, am I going to get back a table or a number? It's going to be a number, right? It just says, hey, what's the biggest number? Now the problem here is in this experience where I'm building a DAX query, it can't return a number, it has to return a table. However, if I want to do sort of a down and dirty trick to convert a single number into a table, so it used to be a lot harder. Didn't that need to be max x? Stop That's correcting me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So I'm just going to wrap the whole thing in curly braces like that. Okay. And now instead of returning the uh, second step, I'm going to go return the last step. So what is the biggest number in here? Looks to be about 21. Yeah. Sound about right? Sound about right? 21 million. Yeah. 21 million, right there. Ooh. Okay. Does that make sense? That's how it works, but let's say that we want to simulate looking at an individual product category, like food or beverage. So one thing I could do is for every single one of these expressions, I could one by one add a calculate table around each one and add a filter one by one. That's awful though, that's going to take forever, it's going to suck. So what we're going to do instead is this trick. So anytime you're working with a, uh, a function and the argument says expression, you should know that you can now redefine variables, okay? So you can define variables up here at the start. Also, if you're using a statement like calculate that takes an expression, you can redefine variables inside of calculate. So what I'll do is I'll do calculate table, right? And so what's my expression? Well, it's this right here. That's my expression. And what I'm gonna do is for all that stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and add a filter for dim products category equals food, okay? And now, when I hit enter, the number changes. So I've simulated that. Now what I could do is I could also just step back and say, hey, you know what? I want to go back to step two with expression. Oops. And I can see here's what uh, step two looks like if we're looking at food. And if I want to see what does it look like if we're looking at beverages? <clears throat> just like that. And that's it. I got no more tricks. Any questions about this? You know, Brian, Brian showed me this this technique of, of coming back to a couple months ago. The idea that that you know you're not working in DAX Studio, that you you know get instant gratification. You know, you're 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 sort of getting visual confirmation of what you're trying to build in the resulting table. You know, right. to me, this was really kind of eye-opening, and it really kind of expanded my idea or my understanding around. DAX that you're always creating tables, right? And so, uh, you know, who needs DAX Studio? Yes, <laughs> if you're doing optimization. Conspiracy. <laughs> if you're doing optimization, you're gonna want that. You're gonna need DAX Studio. But if all you're doing is stuff yeah. like this, shoot, I just do it right here. Yeah. It's, it's so fast. It's so easy. You don't have to hold tab at all. It's great. Very cool. Any questions about this? Nice. Great. Thank you all very much. Thanks for staying.